All right. Hey there, everybody. This is Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Uh, I just spent the day here today. I'm here at the main visitor center, the Boston Mill Visitor Center. I'll show it to you in just a second. This was actually built in 2019, which actually kind of helps expand, you know, the essence of Cuyahoga Valley. Because I actually visited here, this park, about 10 years ago. And this was not around. And when I was here 10 years ago, it was pretty bare bones in terms of trying to get around and see the sights and attractions. I mean, plus 10 years ago, I actually had hair on my head. So now I have nothing. But fast forward to now, um, I'm a much more humble person in my visits to national parks. Um, here, I came here for the day. I'm glad I did to get a different perspective. You know, 10 years later, a lot more mature in my explorations of national parks. Um, so yeah, I just completed my day trip here. It was more than enough time. Um, for those, most folks, you probably only need half a day to explore around here. You know, I would definitely say temper your expectations. Don't expect much. It's just a very basic foresty kind of national park, you know, uh, 20 miles outside of Cleveland, Ohio. So yes, uh, I came here today. Uh, it's the middle of May. I'm here on a whim. I went to the um, to the park ranger standing outside. I said, hey, could you craft me an itinerary for the day? Just tell me the best parts to see. He did it. And now I'm just here to relay what I saw. And you know what, for having low expectations, it was a nice day getaway into, you know, nature. So first thing, after coming here to the Boston Mill Visitor Center, I did Brandywine Falls. That's probably the most popular attraction. Uh, a simple, basic boardwalk hike to a nice, pleasant waterfall. Nothing much to it, but you can do a lot more hiking and exploring around the area. From there, I went to uh, another part of the park called the Ledges. This was uh, probably my favorite part of Cuyahoga Valley. The Ledges was a nice, um, say about two, two and a half mile round trip hike, but it gave me a chance to kind of take some real nice photo opportunities, climb on the rocks, it was playful. So I enjoyed the ledges probably the most out of my day trip here. And then finally I went over to Beaver Marsh and Beaver Marsh just basically kind of reminds me of like the Everglades, uh, basically, you know, a marshy plant. You look for wildlife, birds, you know, um, those types of birds, little small ducks, you know, animals. People take their long lens cameras, they, you know, take pictures. Uh, yeah, so that was just basically a boardwalk path, less than a mile long. But if you're interested, you could always go further to the towpath uh, hike, which extends for forever. But basically, these three areas, um, Brandywine Falls, the ledges, and Beaver Marsh. Half a day is all you need, but for me, I took the entire day, I took my time, I enjoyed the sights and surroundings. Um, each place, basically, just plug it into Google Maps, five miles away here, five miles away there, you'll have no problem uh, finding it. There's plenty of parking anywhere you go, and um, that's it. Basically, uh, it was a nice day trip for any parks enthusiasts, a great way to kind of get out and do some hiking and be outdoors. And yeah, I got a little sample of a waterfall, a little sample of climbing on the rocks and hiking, and then sort of the outdoors, uh, lush, swampy beaver marsh. So yes, this is Cuyahoga Valley National Park, and I am Seth, and thank you for taking the time to watch my video.